Okay, so we're going to do another build. Uh, the Wild West Cynix from TT Combat, the general store. Mm, looks like a pretty straightforward build. We'll see as we get on. I uh, hope we've got everything out that I need, so this should just be a matter of me doing it. So, let's open it up and take a look at the uh, two pieces in this one. So, slightly few more parts for this than there was on the last one, which was the water tower. Which you can see on the other another video but let's have a look at this so there we go that's the component parts of this so what do we think um looks reasonably straightforward uh obviously again no build instructions so this will be be they will be working out how it all goes together while i'm recording this so could be fun let's see what happens okay so we have the base It's attached. That's not so. Some of the some of these but ones have been the where they attach to the old um, to the rest of the framework is better than others because most of them they haven't attached on the corners. This one apparently they decided to do so. So we'll see. Uh, just took a little bit more effort to get out, but that's other than that, that's easy enough. So I'll just pop out all these bracket bits. So base unit, nice and easy. Next job, let's get the walls out. Um, well, I'm going to leave the uh, general store signage in the top for the time being. This door could be separated, so I'm going to separate it because I'm not sure how I'm going to actually put these together. So, for the time being, We'll see. We may not, we may or may not separate that. Um, so that's the front. Then we've got two sides. I'm just check. I'm just going to dry fit all this to make sure it all fits together. That's obviously the back with the um, back door in. I'm making these. These are all going to be closed buildings because while the games I'm playing, I'm playing with it. Do have rules for internals. I feel I don't want to add to the complication. Um, what I may do is add a ladder or something to the roof, uh, potentially. So the roof goes on like that. The roof's a bit plain, I will admit. Um, probably want to do some f some detail on that. But we'll work out what as we go. So I'm just dry fitting everything. It's all going together very easily at the moment. So that fits in there. So that means there must be some brickwork or something. So these are the... Oh, careful. These are going to need cutting out properly. So otherwise we're going to lose some apart. So we have one set of railings. Second set of railings. Um, guessing these must be the bits that are being used to hold the ramp, uh, the sign up. So let's get those out. Just take a qu qu quick knife cut just to. Oh, and they've got another, these actually held, held it in two places. So. Again, I'm using corkboard just to cut onto rather than a cutting mat because with PVA, I don't really want my cutting mat to get PVA'd over. Again, that's very much a personal thing, but I go through so much of this cork stuff anyway, it's not end of the world for me. And I will, obviously all this lot needs neatening up as once we've gone. So that's the basic shape of the building. I'm guessing all the other stuff is internal. Let's see if we can work any work anything out. Let's see if I got any photos online. TT Combat website. I have my computer just to the side of me, so I probably will find uh, scenics. 
World War. Um, Western to Western Scenics, and we want the general store. Just going to turn my volume off from my computer. I've just realised it's on. So if anybody buzzes me, you guys will get a lovely beeping volume thing, which may or may not be a good thing. So I'm looking for the general store. General store. General store. General store. There we go. No, nothing for the internal, so I'm going to have to work that out myself. Hmm. But, as the internals are basically done, um, uh, the externals are basically done, I think what I'm going to do is neaten it all up and glue it all together. I think what I'll probably do is glue it in a couple of parts. I think I'll leave the roof off and those off, because I think I'm going to want to do something with the roofs eventually because I'm not happy with just that plain wood look. Um, I'll have a think about what I'm going to, how they would have been roofed originally and probably just do uh, some texturing on that to add that sort of look to it. Other than that, I think I'm reasonably happy. Um, I think I'm going to... Let's get these glued together. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to take this door off, these doors off. I'm tempted to purely on the fact that I probably will do something, have them slightly open, I made or magnetised or something. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the, f I'm actually going to leave them on I think because I don't think there's a lot of detail inside. So if we leave the door open, if we leave the door closed, um, I can make it just here. Mm, I'm trying to decide, well, I'm going to take that one off actually, let's have a look. Because I could just slightly have it slightly ajar just to put a bit more detail in. So yeah, I think I'll do that on that one. I'll have a think about the front. Let's get the that one cleared up first though, shall we? And start getting some glue down on the front and the sides and the back. Okay, just clearing up where the laser where they left the tags on to hold it into the framework. So the laser did so you didn't, when you didn't pick them up off the laser cutter, it didn't just all fall apart. This is the abundant laser cut terrain. There's only a very small amount of cleaning up needed. It's quite good like that. So that one's done. A little bit of PVA, and it does only need to be a little bit on, but on the sides, like so. I'll just grab a brush and clean it up. Have a Spread it a bit. Again, you do not need to use a lot of PVA for this sort of stuff. As long as you're careful, small amount of PVA goes small amount of PVA goes a long way. So I'm just again fine enough where the joints were, and again bit of PVA just down where the framework is so it will just join to the base unit part of the model easily mm, we'll also add a little bit onto the edges as well like so Join it all up. That will just join it all up nicely. So just the other side now. Because what I might do with these doors is I may have a look, at, think about it, and I may actually do some ex extra work on the doors and do something myself. Um, I'm quite capable of potentially just building a door which has a bit more of a framework and a little bit more nicety to it. Again, these are great, simple pieces of terrain great for any game what I want is something just a little bit above that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize these pieces this is I'll add some extra details to them and see what happens um, purely because 
I have the capabilities of adding to my to the design without without adding a huge amount of work time time load time to my to my workload. Um, right, front. Am I taking the front door out? What do we think? I think we will, because worst case, I can glue it back in. <laughs> worst case, it can be glued back in where it is. No problems. So, that's the two doors. I've just taken the doors out, purely because I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to be easy to reattach them to that posi to the position they were in than to try and cut them out once I've glued it down. So again, bit of PV bit of, bit of titanium up where the cuts are gone. So there was one there and one at the top. That top one's not quite done yet. So there, and then that's all of it. So again, bit of PVA across the bottom. And then a bit on the on the side as well because this joins to the front. This joins to the sides. As I say, as I say, you'll see, you'll probably see more complicated terrain out there. You'll probably see better looking terrain out there but practicalities sometimes isn't it isn't just about what looks the best i want something that's sturdy which is going to let cope with being gamed on at the end of the day i built terrain to be gamed on this is for malifaux so it's going to have models all over it's going to have models going onto it into it around it it will get it will get models be it will get models using it. I'm just gonna sit those two to the and I've probably got enough glue on this what this brush just to do the same on that side. And again I oh that one's I've managed to slightly crack the woodwork. That's not a big issue. This is all being designed to look like wooden planking. What I'll probably do is take and now, once I've got it, now I've got it glued in place, I'll let it dry, but I'll probably take a knife to the edges and just added some wood grain effects into the, where the wood panels are, so some cracked, some step, cracked rubs and such like. I'll then uh, use aging techniques to age the wood, a little bit of cut paint just to add some detail to it, but won't take a lot. So I'm just going to add the roof on just to make sure everything fits. I ain't gluing the roof in. Because, as I've said, I think some of this stuff is for the internals. And actually, with Malifaux, it's one of those games where you do want to be able to get inside inside buildings. At least sometimes. You, sometimes we'll use them as just closed buildings. You've no entrance or exit on it. The door's been locked. Whatever. Um, that's all right. So, just cleaning up the framework here. But it be sometimes it will be nice just to have a little bit of ability just to hide, go into buildings, and I'm guessing a lot of this, all this extra stuff that I'm sort of going, I'm not sure what it's for, is for the internal. So there's a bit of detail inside. Not a lot, but it doesn't need to be a lot. I'll, again, I may add some extra detail inside depending on what I decide to do. I'm not sure yet because. I add too much in, it will start becoming more complicated to transport and a bit more of us to get from A to B, which is not what I want. So, that then drops in like that. And the two separate doors, and that's the basic framework done. Um, I'll grab, grab my camera down and let people have, have, a, have a look at it. So... So there you go, that's the front of it, side, back, and then identical other side. So that's the general store. Is it perfect? 
eh, not really, but it's a start point. Um, there's definitely more work to be done on it. Um, do I think I can do, do I think I can add some detail to it? So certainly. Um, what I'm going to add, we'll see. Um, let's have a look at these other pieces. I'm just going to put this to one side while I try and have a look at these other smaller pieces and work out, if I try and work out what they're for. Just neaten up these doors before I do that, just so I do. And then I'll just put the doors with the model so I don't lose them. Because I can guarantee that in a few day, in a day's two time when I come back to this, I'll lose them and I won't know what I'm done with them. Okay, so it looks like it's a counter. I'm tempted to say it looks like that sort of top of counter sides. So let's have a look here. Let's take these pieces out and see what we can do with them. Because I'm guessing if I, if I start trying to put them together, we'll work it out. As I say, this is always this is this is the one thing I think TT Combat could improve on, and that is some simple instructions or at least pictures of everything put together they're not difficult designs so probably a full picture of internals and externals would help so maybe maybe these videos will give them some ideas of what to do as well um i'll have a chat i may link them so that does fit that way around i'm guessing that's going to fit that way so that's something at least um not sure what it is, but it's definitely that looks like that how that goes. Um, I'm not sure. Is that supposed to be a counter? Is that supposed to go into a corner like that? Am I supposed to go into a corner like that and top surface? I'm guessing these are shelves looking at this. So let's get these out. So this looks like two this looks like two sets of shelf units. Again, that that could really have done with some... You've done wood effects on the rest of it, so it would be nice to have some wood effects on the top. What I might do is I might actually do a cloth covering for that, just so it looks like it's got a cloth on, over it. That's probably the quickest way of making it so it's complete, it looks complete. So it looks like we've got three three sets of shelves here. So this it'll be nice internally just to have a little bit of extra cover. So if I add some, if we do go inside, there's some abilities for line of sight blocking inside, etc. Oh, that looks like it took a bit. So let's have a look at these. Yeah, so these are shelves basically. So they're going to go together like that. Okay, that's, that's all right. So they need neatening up. But let's get them all out and I can neat them all up together, can't I? Mm, not sure what these are. Uh, I'm really not sure what these are. So I'm just going to get them out. I'm sure I'll work it out. I normally do. Um, may have a look around and see if I can find some photos online somewhere. I've got the Olympics on mute in the background, and sort of keeping an eye on what we what's going on. Um, I'm not a massive fan of sport, but stuff like the Olympics, I quite enjoy watching. And I've just moved uh, my computer and all my equipment up into the what was supposed was always designed to be my study in here. Um, it got moved downstairs because my partner and my partner complained I was always up on the upstairs out the way when she was downstairs, so she wanted me down to move downstairs. Understand that, but we've come we've come to a compromise now where I w I promise not to spend as much time doing craft stuff or doing doing computer stuff and spending more time with her. The fact she's a, she does play these games, especially Malifaux. Um, 
I'm hoping with the desk, the space I've created for a desk, we've got room to put a uh, downstairs. We've got room to put a uh, gaming table down there, so we can just have a permanent setup board. Which I will take some shots off once we get it all sorted. At the moment, the uh, front room is a bit of a bomb site, so we'll. I need to t finish tidying all that, tidying all that up, and then look at going from there. Right, so that's everything out of the framework. So let's do some filing and then some gluing and then we'll try and work out what these four bits are for. There's four, so it's obviously not for these bricks, so it's probably for this stuff. But I'm not sure how, what. Is it to go underneath like that? No, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm uh, really not. Let's see. Can we see anything online? Um, TT Combat General Western General Store. Does anybody, has anybody taken any photos of internal? Don't look like it. At least not quick, that quickly that I can say. But that's all right. Well, oh, hang on. Wait a moment. That looks hopeful. There we go. That looks. That's definitely. Um, that looks like it. There we go. So. That's at least some of the inter. So that goes that way around. Um, there's a few photos floating around, but nothing from TT Combat themselves, which is not great, I have to say. I would prefer to sort of. I would think. I really think they should do some general internal photos for themselves. It's just so you know how everything goes together, I think. But again, maybe that's just me. Um, right, let's get these these together. Then we can have a bit of a play with those last four pieces and see if we can work out what they are. Right, let's get this one done. For, let's get these ones done first because we know this this all goes together nicely. But as I say, no. Um, overall, I'm really happy with the TT Combat stuff. It's really quite nice, straightforward. So yeah, all I'm just using is just a normal modelling file. Nothing special. Um, I do have Dremels. I do have all that sort of stuff. But for this sort of stuff, it's probably a bit overkill. Dremel would potentially be a little bit too heavy-handed. You don't want to over file stuff because you never know what might happen so again this has got i understand it only having the wood effect on one side um and i'm fine with that because as i say if this is this is supposed to be usable terrain it doesn't need to be 100 percent accurate it doesn't need to be 100 percent doesn't have to be perfect by any means because all honesty the way i'm going to use it it's going to get a bit of a battering. I'm really happy with it. So, we'll take the top off again. That can then, that will then fit in like something like that. Or maybe be better, probably better like that, won't it? maybe like that I think like that it gives you a couple of positions for that I'm not actually sure there's going to be room for all these shelves in there and put, put one by the door at the back I suppose and then one maybe on in front in the front end here but now everyone But no, as I say, overall, I'm reasonably happy with these des these designs. And as I say, they go together quickly. They're nice and simple, and they're not high, they're not overcomplicated, shall we say? Which is a good thing. Remember to file down before I put the glue on. 
again. Um, I'm still working out best position for the camera. Um, I think that could actually do be tilted a little bit more that way, just so you can see me hands a bit better. Uh, this is very much me playing around with best position, best layout, uh, best way for me to actually access everything I need to do. Um, overall, I'm reasonably happy with this one. Um, camera's off to one side out the way, so I'm not going to accidentally catch it. Um, next one. Um, what I've got to decide is what I'm going to do with these shelves. Am I going to fill them up with stuff? Um, if I do, I'll probably just find some small model, modeling bits and pieces. Um, I've got a few places like, where I can buy sort of um, model food and such like, which could be quite nice just to add a little bit of extra detail in this without not increasing the cost a huge amount. It'll just be a nicety, which you don't have to do, but we'll see. Again, not, I'm, I haven't made any decisions over exactly how much detail I'm putting into these designs, these boards yet, um, because in all honesty, I don't know. Right, so that's one side dump. So just put, add a little bit of glue in one spot, and then I'll be able to lift it off to go the rest of to the rest of it to the rest of it okay one of these is the long way around um that one there we go because that will that will cause me problems when i come to try and glue down and the the holes don't line up just get a bit of water on that start to the, the glue in it starting to dry up a little bit too much this is just one of my old paint brushes which no longer is particularly functional as a paintbrush so I just use it a bit of it as a bit of a hand to help me get the glue in position now this could be fun because this isn't There we go. So, first throw, first one, I hopefully that will fit all right in that back wall there. Yep. I'm not going to glue anything down that's internal because it allow me to move them around as we come to stuff. And it allow me to change the internal so we don't just get the same internals when we do use the inside of the buildings. And if we're not using the inside of the buildings, I won't bother you putting the stuff in. <laughs> Simple as. Um, Oh well, I mean, quite like these these tap these shelves are quite, quite nicely. Um, what do I think? Um, I think improvement wise, I want to put a little bit of something on some of these shelves. And again, these shelves because they use the slightly thicker MDF um, for their build the shelves are a little bit thicker than possibly other designs but again they're fine for what they're being used for um if i was if i was going to use these for sort of a serious piece of sort of diorama or something i'd probably replace i'd probably replace the probably wouldn't use these shelves i would just get some others or build them myself from thinner wood just to make it more realistic but for game purposes, these are perfectly fine. And because they're thicker, they're more, they, they, they will endure better compared to some of the thinners, which, as I say, while the thin might look nice, um, that way around. They'll just take a little, they won't take the battering of the, um, gaming table as much as these probably will and let's be honest as i keep saying this is terrain for gaming not for this is very much terrain for me to play on not for me to 
to look pretty on the uh, look nice on the table or on the shelf. I do do that sort of terrain as well, but recently most of my terrain is very much practical, designed for. what looks good. So if I put that shelf down there, does that work? Yeah, that works. And then the last shelf probably sort of on this back wall here. But now overall, reasonably, this is all, this is, this has gone together really quickly. Nice and easy piece of design. Nothing complicated about it. Um, I don't need to mess around too much. Um, as I keep saying though. We will see how it goes. Oops, I think that's the wrong way, isn't it? Yep, it wants to be that way around. Uh, not sure what I'll build next. Plan to do sort of one or two. Try and get a couple more of these done this week. And then I'm going to start looking at actually what I'm going to do to add to these pieces. Which... I may not do on video purely because I'm likely to be messing around with stuff and there'll be a lot of try this, try that, see what works, what doesn't. Um, overall, that could mean I don't do a lot. could mean I do a lot. Um, it could mean I do a quite a bit to them we'll, we, we will see I honestly don't know at the moment um, I'll probably have a conversation with some of my local the guys I game with locally and see what see what they feel would be a good add to it and what might not might not be not too. right let's get these in one at a time again Obviously getting these shelves in. There we go. That's all the shelves in. So that's the last shelf, which we said we we're going to put in that spot there. And then that's basically that done. Because as I say, I'm not sure what these are. I'll have a look around and work it out. I'll clean them up. Uh, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Um... This is a pity. Uh, I'm sure I'll work it out at some point, but not on camera. So, first, that right now, that's the internals done, externals. Um, it all goes together very quickly. I'll work out what I'm going to do with these doors. I think probably I'm going to have one of them open. I might leave the other closed. We'll work out which way around we do that. And I will see people on the next build or maybe a game not sure which one's going to happen this week <laughs>